our world and beyond. Space, in partnership with the European Space Agency. Spring is the season when nature awakes from a cold and dark winter. The warmth of the sun shining high in the sky brings nature and man back to life. Since ancient times, this season has been linked to beauty and love. These virtues lent their name to a celestial object that resembled Earth so much it was believed to be our planet's twin sister. The planet Venus got its name from the goddess of love and beauty, Venus. Uh, and it's of course a very beautiful planet, just as Venus is beautiful. Um, but Venus can also be a hellish place. Many imagined Venus as some kind of tropical paradise. A tropical paradise. That's what people imagined Venus to be at the start of the 20th century. As it's quite near to us, people expected to find a similar environment there, until the first space flights to Venus proved them wrong. At the dawn of the space age, Venus, also known as the Morning Star, was a very popular destination. This interest was fueled by hopes of finding similar conditions to Earth on Venus, which is the planet closest to us. Since the early 60s, more than 20 American and Soviet space probes have been sent to Venus. Unfortunately, the data collected has unveiled a very hostile planet, which has proved extremely difficult to study. Man kann you can't see its surface from the outside because Venus is covered in a close layer of clouds, which lie at an altitude of about 60 kilometers. They are made up of sulfuric acid and cover the entire planet. You can't see through them, at least not in visible light. This acid cloud blanket has long prevented man from studying Venus's complex environment its atmosphere, its surface, and its geology. For more than 15 years, following several failed missions, the Morning Star and its mysteries seemed forgotten. But today the search has resumed in the hope of finding answers to our own past and future. Venus is covered by a thick cloud cover, which is impossible to look through with the human eye. But now, with the help of modern technology, at the infrared wavelengths, we are able to look through this cloud cover down to the surface. Some of the planet's secrets have been uncovered by new high-tech equipment on board the Venus Express mission. Built around the design of its predecessor, Mars Express, the Venus probe was quicker and cheaper to develop. Venus Express is the European Space Agency's first mission to the planet. It's been orbiting our closest neighbor for three years now, studying its atmosphere, its plasma mantle and its surface. Equipped with state-of-the-art instruments, Venus Express has been able to delve into the secrets of the planet's atmosphere. Thanks to the stream of data pouring in from the orbit, scientists have been able to explain to some extent why Venus has become so inhospitable compared to its sister Earth. The Venus Express mission was launched in November 2005. Each piece of equipment on board is thoroughly tried and tested before being sent into space. Here, the Venus monitoring camera, which spans near infrared, ultraviolet and visible wavelengths, is being tested in a vacuum furnace, which simulates open space conditions. When we travel, we usually have a camera along to take pictures of what we see. Well, scientists do the same when they send a spacecraft to distant planets. There is a camera, just like this one, on board Venus Express. The camera's images show Venus's atmosphere is even more dynamic than expected. 
Influenced by the gigantic hurricane-like vortices at its poles, the upper atmosphere rotates around the planet at a formidable speed, with winds reaching 360 kilometers an hour. When you get deeper into the atmosphere and down to the surface, it's really a hellish place because of the high temperatures and the high pressures that crushes everything, anything that gets in there and burns it at 460 degrees Celsius. With this data, scientists have been able to model the dynamics of the atmosphere on Venus. They hope that by better understanding what's going on under Venus's clouds, they might find out why Earth and Venus's destinies differed so wildly from the very birth of our solar system. It's thought that Venus's entire surface was completely altered by some kind of sudden and catastrophic event around 500 million years ago. And tremendous lava flows covered the planet's surface. There's been a lot of speculation, but we don't really know what happened. Astronomers of the past could be forgiven for suggesting that Venus's climate was once similar to the Earth's. Our sister planet wasn't always that different. Likely in the early days of the solar system, uh, Venus may well have had as much water as the Earth had. And of course, at that time, the, the climate would have been very different, uh, the temperature much lower. And, um, Slowly then, uh, because, probably because Venus is closer to the sun, it receives more sunlight, the water slowly boiled off up, in, up into the atmosphere. What Venus Express has been able to measure is the way Venus is losing its hydrogen and oxygen, which are stripped away by solar winds. In contrast, the Earth is protected by its magnetic field. But the slowly rotating Venus doesn't have such a shield and is therefore gradually losing what's left of its water. To make matters worse, water vapor and carbon dioxide trapped inside the atmosphere act as a huge greenhouse ceiling, warming it up and speeding up the process. Climate change on Venus is strongly influenced by a very powerful greenhouse effect, like the one we have on Earth on a much smaller scale. It only warms up our outside atmosphere by 30 to 40 degrees. However, we should bear in mind that by raising CO2 and water vapor levels in the atmosphere, we could one day have a climate as hostile as the one we see on Venus. Although there's still a long way to go before that happens, perhaps the findings of the Venus Express mission will in some way spark reflection about climate change on its unlikely twin, planet Earth.